for our CBS Charge Master to not only throw powder faster but also more consistently. I've been using this for the last year and a half loading for matches and it's worked pretty awesome. Showed a few guys some a video of it and uh, they really wanted to know how it was done. So this is the process. So what we'll start doing is we'll change the factory settings for how fast it dispenses and we're going to press the enter and edit memory buttons at the same time. And we'll see that it is getting set up. So the first one that you'll see, the factory setting will be 15.68. What you're going to do is you're going to press 800 and that should end up looking like 8.00. So once you get that, you're going to hit enter. The only thing you're going to hit on here is enter afterwards. So this is going to be the second speed. And the factory setting is 3.42. And you're going to press 150 to make it 1.50. And then you press enter. The third setting the factory setting you'll see is 1.08 you're going to press 4.0 so it should end up looking like 0 .40 and then you're just going to keep pressing enter multiple times you don't want to change any of the other settings all this set all these three settings do is change the speed of how it dispenses and at any time you can go ahead and switch them back to the factory settings. So it's doing its counting. So now we are back to square one. So you have just changed your factory settings for how fast it's going to dispense. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to find a straw. I'm not going to tell you where to get a straw. You can figure it out, pick up a few. And what you want is you want that straw to be, let me grab a pair of pliers. You want that straw to be a little bit snug inside there. So it fits pretty tight inside here. You'll see mine has pen marks on there and what those are for is when I get a setting I like for a certain powder. I go ahead and pen mark it so that way I can change it. What the straw allows you to do is it allows you to modify the amount of powder that's actually going down the tube. So if we look through the top here, I'm going to zoom down here. So you can see my straw has actually gone from red to just clear from being used and abused. So you can see that when I push it in, it closes up the opening, pull it out, it allows more powder to end up inside there. So what this is doing is fine tuning how much powder is actually going in or out. And that's what you're going to end up needing to fine tune which powder you're using. So, go ahead and push that into there. And I will throw some powder in there and show you how to fine tune it. So I threw some unicorn tears or varget inside there to give this a test. You can see the straws pushed in a ways. And if you'll notice that my straw actually has some little notches cut out in it. So what you're going to do when you take the factory straw, straw is push it in there and pull it out maybe a quarter of an inch and then snip it off square to the end of these points just to get you started so you're, the straw is not sticking out past the pan. And then if you feel like cutting notches in there, I like the notches because I think it gives just a little bit more chance for the powder to trickle out in smaller, smaller doses versus where it lumps up. And then what you're going to do, we'll go ahead and do a 45 grain load. And you'll see how slow So right now it's coming out really slow 
because we have that straw pushed way back in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cancel that. And I am going to pull this out. And we'll hit it again to see what happens. A good rule of thumb that I like using is six to seven seconds to get to about the load that you're trying to get to. So let's try that again and see where we're at and we'll count it out. Nothing too fancy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's right in that area. Still looking good. If it's if it seems like it's taking too long, pull the straw out a little bit. If you're starting to get overcharges, push it in just a little bit. To We'll pull it out just a hair to see if we can uh, give it a little bit more. Looking good so far. We'll count it out one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I'd probably pull it out a little bit more just to make sure. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get it right to the point where it's hitting around the seven second mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boy, that really jumped. Is it gone? Yes, it is. Try it one more time. Six, seven, eight. It's right in that ballpark. So anyway, so that's how you do it. Um, any other tricks? That's really that's about it. So just make sure that uh, you're keeping an eye on it. If, if you're getting too many overcharges, just make sure that you end up pushing in the straw just, just a little bit. It doesn't take much to squeeze it down. And if it seems like it's going slower than about 7 to 8 seconds to get just about to your drop mark. If, now, again, if you're, shoot, if you're doing 90 grains of powder, it's a whole different deal. So it, it'll still get there fast, but it probably won't get there in 7 to 8 seconds. But go ahead and feel free to pull it out or push it in and fine tune it. And once you get it, go ahead and tape a, take a permanent ink marker and mark it on the straw so that way you can remember, hey, if I'm doing Varget, it's going to be right around here. Now, I have done this with tack. It works great with tack. I've done it, used it with pistol powder. It still works. The one thing that I've heard, though, from a couple friends of mine is that Rotumbo doesn't seem to work very well. I don't use Rotumbo, so I haven't tested it but that may be one of those powders that may or may not work. Anyways, I hope that helps, and hopefully this uh, will cut down your reloading time and frustration. Before I go off and stop the video, one thing I do want to mention is static. Static with RCBS Charge Masters, depending on where you're loading, if you're loading inside the house and you have, you have a lot of dry, staticky air inside there, there's a good chance that you're going to see your charge master not perform the way you want or it's going to drop. No matter if you have breezes blowing, right now I have my big garage door open so I do have a breeze outside so there's a good chance that you might see this fluctuate. So one way to figure out whether or not you're actually getting 
some static charge is when you pull this pan off watch the number as you're loading if that number starts deviating or drifting the yours, yours is going to be a little bit different but if that number starts deviating or drifting while you're loading there's a good chance that you're getting static between the lower black pan here and the drop tube so keep an eye on that and again dryer sheets and wiping down all the plastic parts and your pan will certainly help to uh, alleviate some of it but like I say I load in my garage it's not very I don't have a lot of static electricity in here so I really don't get much drift or or anything else so keep that in mind hope that helps and good luck loading